All right. Hello, everybody. Okay. So I'm here with the awesome, um, wonderful, lovely Lindsay Hack, who if I compliment a lot, hopefully she won't torture me too bad. Um, and we are letting you guys in today on my personal training session. So this is my basement home gym. Um, and uh, it's nothing fancy, but it does the trick. And Lindsay's now going to torture me and you guys get to watch. So. <laughs> All right, hi guys, Lindsay Hack here. And I'm actually just in my home studio, which is nothing compared to uh, Christina's. She's got lots of fun stuff that we use on a regular basis. So we are going to be doing uh, a 30 minute workout today where it's all about strength and then cardio bursts in between. So you are going to be doing one minute of one exercise, one minute of another exercise, and then a 30 second cardio burst, okay? We're focusing on going heavier, but because it's still one minute, you do have to be aware that you're not gonna be able to go as heavy as if you were doing just 10 reps, correct? So you're starting with a deadlift, and then you're doing a deadlift with a pull. So when you're here, you're gonna come down into your deadlift, pull into that back, and then squeeze as you come up. So I want something heavy enough that you can do your deadlift, but I also need something that you can pull into a back pull. So get yourself ready. All right. All right. So we are going to set the timer in three, two, one. Here we go. So nice and straight back, good, all the way up. And when you're coming up, really squeeze. Okay, go down again for me, keeping that back straight and pull there. Yes, and then come right back up again into, a, into your deadlift, perfect. So we are working in this position where you're squeezing and then coming back down again, good. So imagine that my fingertips are in between your shoulder blades. So when you squeeze, you wanna squeeze my fingertips and slowly release and then power up through those heels Good, and then back down again. You've got 20 seconds here and squeeze. Good, now slowly rise. Trying to keep that back as nice and straight as possible, 13 seconds. Pushing that tailbone back, squeeze. Good, and then slowly rise again. In three, two, all right, we're taking it up just a little bit. This time, one leg here, squeeze. Bring that knee up, down, squeeze, bring that knee up. We're gonna do one side for 30 seconds, the other side for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. I feel like everyone's gonna get to see me fall over. <laughs> well, balance is so key, right? I mean, we work functional training just as much as we work muscle training. Good, squeeze. And unfortunately, here in Alberta, we have to worry about slipping on ice. You know, I don't know about your house, but Lego and Shopkins are all the time under my feet. So we want to really focus on keeping that balance whenever we can. In three, two, one, change sides. Now, subconsciously, you might have chosen your stronger side first. So you will feel a little bit less stable here. Good. Back you go. I thought I chose my weak side first, but I didn't. Ah, well, you know what? It's one of those things where I always feel like I choose, I choose my weak side first, and then I'm sorely mistaken. <laughs> Good. Eight seconds. Good. Nice and strong. And squeeze. Two, one. All right. Weights are down. You've got your cardio burst here. You're doing burpees for 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. Good, nice and strong, keep that plank, yes, perfect. Come on up, toes are nice and strong, really focus on squeezing those glutes, keeping that back nice and strong. You've got 17 seconds, good. When you go back into that plank, really focus on squeezing those glutes, yes, there it is, seven seconds, keep it up, keep it up. Good, three, two, one and rest all right grab your weights again we're doing round two so same thing you're going down squeezing your shoulder blades when you're down and coming up into your deadlift let's go in three two here we go so down take a little bit of a bend in those knees and then 
squeeze all the way up. And I want you to really think about through those ankles, those calves, right into your hamstring, the back of your legs there, into your glutes, and all the way to your lower back as you come straight up. Good. Watch your shoulders when you roll up. I want you to keep your back as straight as possible. Down. You're going to pull. Okay, release. And then straight back all the way up. Yes, there it is. 26 seconds. Keep it up. You're going to squeeze. Remember that finger is right in between your shoulder blades and slowly rise. Excellent. So everything we do is with intention. I want you to think about those muscles, how they're working, how they're, how they're pushing here. Seven seconds. Good. Nice and strong. Three, two, and one leg. Let's go. So balance first, pull, and then knee comes through and hold. Yes. Good. So you're changing your planes here three different ways, right? So you're, there's one, there's two, and then when we go back, that's three, and squeeze. So you still want to squeeze those back muscles, okay? Nice and strong. Five seconds. Two, and change legs for me. Good. And squeeze. Perfect. So keeping that back nice and straight. Your neck looking down so that you have that nice neutral spine. Don't worry about how high that back leg comes. You just want to make sure that you're moving that body in those different planes. Squeeze. You got six seconds. Three, two. All right, hands down and burpees, 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice and strong. Focus on that form there. Beautiful. So that strength in that plank protects that back, squeezing those glutes, engaging that core. Good work. You got 15 seconds. Now remember, burpees are those hate to love, love to hate ones because they are a total body workout. You've got five seconds to go. Three, two, and rest. Okay, grab some water quickly. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna start off with. You're gonna grab your weights. You're gonna grab your weights. You're gonna get into your shoulder press with those heavier weights. You're coming down into a squat, up into an overhead press. That's level one, okay? Level two, is you're gonna, for the second minute, stay down in that squat, and you're gonna open and squeeze, okay? Open and squeeze. The goal is to stay low the whole minute. That third cardio burst is your jump squats. So we're gonna work those legs right to the end. Double round. All right, overhead press, here we go. Squat, three, two, one, here it is. So stick down, get that bum back, yeah, beautiful, push. Remember, I want you to see those weights in that peripheral vision right at the top of your head. I don't want them to go too far back. That's putting too much pressure on those shoulders. And push, good. And squeeze, lovely. Nice and strong. Keeping that core on, especially when you go up over, over your head. As soon as you have a weight that's above your head, you're in very danger zone of back and shoulder issues. So you want to have that core strong. 24 seconds. Good. Squeeze and push it up. Nice job. You've got 16 seconds to go. This is our level one push. Good. Squeeze it here. You've got five. Keep that form strong. Two, one. All right. So you're having a seat in a nice strong um, squat position. Then you're taking your arms out and squeezing them in. Out, working that shoulder muscle in a seated squat position in three, two, let's go. Down and hold. That's all right. I want you to be safe, but I am starting the clock again. Three, two, one, go. Good, here, perfect. So have a little bit of a bend in those, in those elbows. 
protecting them, of course, keeping that, that glute fired and those quads on as you sit down, nice. Working those shoulder muscles in another way, okay? When we push up and over, we work the front and the side shoulder muscles. When we come into the side in the middle, we're working a little bit differently. Nice, keep it up. You've got 30 seconds here. Squeeze, breathe. Good, nice work, nice work. Stay here. Good, core is on, protecting that back. You've got 18 seconds. You got this. Now, our shoulder muscles aren't that big, right? So they do tire quickly, which is why you're feeling that burn go crazy right now. You've got eight seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three. Good. And your cardio burst here is your jump squat. So drop your weights in three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Nice and strong. Now remember, try to land as quietly as possible, working those knees to protect them, especially on that floor of yours. Good. Breathe and squeeze. Good job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Nice work. You've got 10 seconds. The legs are yelling at you at this point. I know. Three, two, and good. All right. So grab those heavier weights again. Squat into overhead press. Round two. All right. Set up in three, two, one. Let's go. Down. Yes. Squeeze up. So in this case, because we're not just working your core, we're not just working your glutes or your hamstrings or your quads or your shoulders, we're combining them. And that's why we do so much more for your body in these 30-minute 30, 30 workouts, right? We're not just taking one muscle and working it. We are focusing on numerous muscles. And in this case, when you push through those heels, you're working your calves, the back of your legs, the front of your legs, your glutes, your lower back. Your shoulders as you push up, 26 seconds to go. Keep that, keep that weight in that peripheral vision of yours. Don't let it go too far back. You've got 18 seconds. Woo! You got it. You got it. 10 seconds. This is where if you were by yourself, Christina, I know it would be over. You'd be sitting out, tapping out. Three, two, and good. This is All right. Looking and checking messages on my phone. <laughs> we don't stop. We just go. So have a seat. Open those arms. A little bit of a bend in that elbow. And go. Good work. Nice and strong. So as you're holding this squat, right, you're really focusing on that core. You're squeezing those glutes. You're engaging that front and the back of the leg, the hamstring and the quads. And then those shoulder muscles have to work. And we're working your rotator cuff, that muscle that allows our shoulder to actually do some movement. And so we don't work this one very often, and that's why it's, it's very tough. You got 28 seconds to go. Good work. Keep it up. Keep it up. Squeeze. Nice. Breathing, watch that neck, relax those shoulders. You got 14 seconds. As we get stressed, right, depending on where you hold your stress, it's either in your neck or your back. I want you to keep it relaxed. You got six seconds. Three, two, all right, weights down. Final jump squat here in three, two, one, let's go. Good. Keep it going, keep it going. I want you to really focus on that soft landing, pushing that bum back, breathing. Right? When you do a cardio burst, you're gonna get your heart rate pumping, you're gonna get a little bit of huff and puff happening in that breath of yours. And in this case, your, your legs are probably screaming at you. 10 seconds to go. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, and break. Good. Grab some water. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. So we're going to do a plank. So our level one is our basic plank. You're going to be on your forearms in a nice straight position. Your second level is a plank with pull. So 
I got itty bitty weights here for you, but you're going to use a good size one. You're going to come into your plank position, core is on. You're going to pull and release. Pull and release. Keeping that core nice and strong, focusing on that pull as you go. Again, we're doing it for a full minute, so it needs to be a weight that you can handle, but also challenge yourself. And then your cardio burst is your mountain climbers. So we're all focusing on that core strength right now. So set yourself up. First is your plank on your forearms in three, two, one, let's go. Good, get those glutes down, really squeeze. In this position, you should be feeling your shoulders on, your chest on, your back on, hamstrings or quads are on. Good. Protecting that back at all times. Core is on. So if you imagine that your belly button is trying to come out your back, that's how you hold that strength in. You are halfway right here. 28 seconds to go. Squeezing. Don't forget to breathe. This is one of those exercises we tend to hold our breath on, but we absolutely must have that breath to make our muscles do what we're asking it to do. Good work, good work. You got 14 seconds to go. So good. Seven, six, five, four, two, and breathe. Good. So grabbing your weights, you are going to hold on to them. You're getting into a plank position with your forearms straight. Set yourself up and three, two, let's go and pull yes beautiful good trying to keep your body as still as possible there's going to be some movement of course but i want you to try not to be rocking too much really squeeze as you pull up core is on squeezing those butt cheeks together nice good try to get that bum down a little bit more yeah oh make it work make it work 33 seconds to go Good, keep it up, keep it up. Breathe if you need to, take a quick breather, that's okay. Jump back up as soon as you're ready, you got 20 seconds. Good, bum down, focus here. Yes, squeeze. You've got 12, oh, you eight, seven, come on, six, five, four, three, and rest good Woo! get rid of the weights mountain climbers 30 seconds in three two one let's go get that bum down really focus on that upper body stillness yes there it is so opposite knee to opposite elbow breathing Woo! you got 17 seconds to go Remember, you don't have to go super quick. I just want you to focus on those obliques, keeping that upper body strong. Seven, six, five, four, three, and rest. All right, so good news is round one's done. Bad news is round two comes. Here we go. So plank to start with. Set yourself up in that glute squeeze. Core is nice and strong. I don't want to see that bum up in the air. Get it, get it low. Get it ready. In three, two, one, let's do it. Good. Squeezing those glutes. Really, yeah, there you go. So one of the things that you have to be very aware of in this position is putting too much pressure on those shoulders. Get up off the floor. <laughs> too much pressure on those shoulders. You need to be very aware of that. So that's where your core and your glutes firing and all come into play to protect those shoulders and those knees and those backs. 30 seconds. Take a knee if you need to. Bring it down to the knee, but still hold that plank position because you bump too far. Get it down. Get it down. There you go. 20 seconds. I'm just trying to show off my bum. <laughs> well, we love to see that, but I want you to work it. 14 seconds. Good. Nice and strong. Keep it up. And nine seconds. If you want to go on your knees for the second round, too, that's fine, too. Four, three, two, and down. Good. So what I always say is start on your toes, and if you need to move to your knees, that's fine. 
the positioning does not change. You're in a nice, strong plank position, pulling, and then if knees come down, they come down in the same position. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Get that bum down. Yeah, there it is. So remember, this is a challenging move. I'm making you work hard, but I also want you to be safe. So if you feel that your lower back is tingling a little bit because of that position, then get those knees down, right? It's all about we want to be as strong as possible. We want to work as hard as possible. But if our form is suffering, we have to pull back a little bit. And coming down on your knees means protecting that back, then do it. And exactly what you just did, you come back up, you do a few, and then if you need to, you go back down. 24 seconds to go. Squeeze and release. When you're down here, make sure those butt cheeks are squeezing, protecting that back. You've got 15 seconds to go. Oh, Beautiful. You've got it. You've got it. Nine seconds. Pull. There it is. Four, three, two, and relax. Move those weights. And now it's mountain climbers. 30 seconds. You get a break after this. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice. Good work. So keep that upper body nice and still, side to side, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Good work, good work. Hold on here. You've got 15 seconds to go. Good. Beautiful. Breathe. Eight, seven, six. Good. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> take a breather and <laughs> no sleeping we're not done yet we're not done yet all right we're starting with a lunge and a twist so i want you to grab a weight that's going to be heavy enough that when you come down into your lunge and you twist to one side and come back up again that you're really working those obliques so it's going to be step out twist and step back we're going to stay on one leg and one side twisting for the whole round for the first round, okay? The second one is going to be into a lunge, okay? Your weight is here, and you're coming up into a knee, okay? Back into a lunge, up into a knee. And then final is here, your jump squats, okay? So a weight that's going to be heavy enough that you're going to be able to twist and work those obliques, but still, you've got two minutes of work to do with them. Are you ready? No. Three, two, one, let's go. Twist. Good. And then step back. Nope. Only need to go to one side. Step in. Same leg. Down. Twist towards me. Center. Step back. Step. Twist towards me. Yes. Perfect. Step back. Awesome. So keeping that 90 degree angle in that back leg and that front leg, really working those obliques when you twist. Engage that core. Make it work and twist back. Good. 27 seconds. And push. Nice work. Down. Twist. Core is on. Relax those shoulders. You've got 18 seconds. Good. Squeeze and go. Perfect. You're going nine seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Three, two. All right. Now the trick here is you're staying on the same leg. You're coming down into your lunge. Okay. So if you're using your right leg, leg comes down, opposite knee comes up. Oh, man. Here. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. And then pull, yes, down, yes, there it is, squeeze. So pushing through that heel, really working up into those glutes. That 90 degree angle is great on that back leg. Try not to actually hit your knee on the floor, but get as close to possibilities as you can. 34 seconds to go. Down and squeeze. Good. Down and squeeze. Hello. I love it. Hello. <laughs> yeah. You got 21 seconds. Oh. 
squeezing them. I know they're burning. All that flattery did you nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your husband was right. You're evil. I know. I look so innocent, though, don't I? Two, one. All right. Jump squats. 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two. I'm oh, sorry. Jump lunges. Three, two, one. Alternate. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Okay, keeping those shoulders relaxed, hands for balance. They can be on your hips or in front, whatever works for you. Ah, oh, stuck. <laughs> 13 seconds. That's not an evil laugh at all, I promise. <laughs> Six, five, four, two, and done. All right, so now back to the other side. Okay, so you're gonna come down, take the one leg, you're gonna twist away from the camera, unless you've changed directions, but I would prefer not to so we can get it right. So step, twist away from the camera, center, and then step again. So staying on that one leg and one twist side. Let's go. No, nope, wrong way, hold on. <laughs> and twist. No. Good. You actually did a forward step last time, which is probably why you're confused. So step back on your mat a little bit. Okay. No, come back this way. So step back and then step forward into your lunge and twist. And then am I twisting towards the step front leg or the step back? So if you're here, okay, so you were here coming this way last time. Got it. I want you to use the other leg and twist the other way. Okay, got it. All right, let's go. There it is. So step, then twist. There you go. Step, then twist. Really working those obliques. Make sure you're squeezing as you go to one side and pulling back as you go to the other. So both obliques are working here. One is squeezing, the other is pulling as you come back. Good. Squeeze. Really focus on keeping those shoulders straight. So when you twist, you're not twisting down. You're actually just twisting side to side. That shoulder level is not moving. 23 seconds. And twist. Yes, there it is. You have 15 to go. This is it. You've got a minute and a half left of work to do. So come on. You got it. You got it. Seven. Three. Two. <laughs> I love that. Good. All right. So again, other leg, you're coming back into your back lunge, and then you're bringing that foot up. So it's back in, knee comes to the front. Opposite leg as last time. Let's go. Yes, bring it up. Good. So remember, when you come up onto that one foot, the glute that's in that standing leg has to fire to stay balanced. All the stability muscles in and around your ankle, your knee, your hip have to focus. But that also means the opposite glute, the one that's moving, has to really work too. Right? We talk about muscle imbalances really being if we're right-handed versus left-handed, if we use one side versus the other. When we take that muscle imbalance out because we're working individually, Right now, one side versus the other, we're making it work. Hold it, 20 seconds. It's like I've been drinking heavily. <laughs> I always say after leg day, I feel like I'm drunk because I'm wandering all over the place. 10 seconds. Good, you got this, you got this. And then you have 30 seconds of, of jump lunges and you're done. Two, one, good. Get rid of that weight. Finish strong. This is going to hurt. I will not lie, but you got it. In three, two, let's go. Whatever you have left comes out right now. Good. Keeping that chest up, really focusing on that 90 still, 90 degree angle. Good. Yes, yes, yes. You're halfway right here. You have 15 seconds left. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Come on. You've got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, and done. Woo! Wow. How is that? <laughs> I'm so sweaty. 
<laughs> I spent like a year working out by myself and I never get sweaty like this. So, well, you know what they say sweat is, right? It's your fat crying all over the place. It's crying hard. Just let it out. Let it out. Well, and, and to be fair, right after last session, you were like, oh my God, that was so hard. She tried to kill me, all of those things. But then you weren't that sore the next day. No. So, the one thing I noticed after last session is I hadn't eaten enough during the day oh. and I really afterwards. So today I focused on eating enough, knowing that we would be working out. Um, right. And that is something, I mean, obviously that when you talk to your people and people are watching the video and stuff, that's a really huge part of their journey, right? Is making yeah. sure that when they're eating or when they're eating, when they're working out, they're still eating enough to provide their body with the fuel, right? And that does get challenging, and obviously you know with that and really focus on that because it's huge. You felt it last time. What happens to your body when you don't have the fuel in you? Well, yeah, I was like shaky afterwards. I almost felt like vomity, and I'm like, okay, we worked hard, but right. not to the point that I should have felt like that. And so I just took that off and was like, okay, what did I do to create that? And it was my calories weren't high enough, so today they were better. Um, right. And the bonus of my home gym is that we have a bed right next to everything. So I'm <laughs> for a little nap now. Stop well, right. that's perfect. Yes, exactly. After, after that. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody. So this is the online personal training. Lindsay, tell them where you can, they can find you. What's your website? And yeah, awesome, guys. So if you're interested in coming and joining, as I said to you guys in the video I did last night, don't just gauge what I do with, with Christina as the only thing. Um, I pride myself on being able to work with all layer, levels of people, right? I do try to kill Christina personally because that's what she's paying me for. That's what she's asked me for. Everybody else, depending on if they have injuries or if they're a beginner or what have you, we work within what you can, ha what you can do you have in terms of equipment but come and find me on evolve for you the number four dot com and you can also join and try out one of the group classes which a lot of you guys have tried which is awesome very similar to this setup but much more um, in a group environment everybody's at their own house but it really feels like we're together working accountable motivational um, and I still correct form and give modifications and stuff, which is key, which you got to see, you know, a few times because what happens is, I mean, I have a trainer, even though I'm a trainer, as we get tired, our body starts giving up, right? So if I'm like, okay, get those shoulders back or watch that core, that's the part that's really great about the live and interactive because I can be right here watching Christina, checking her form, what's happening. And that's huge for safety. So Definitely hook, hook up on my website. Come and try out a free trial class. I do them every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, you can always try that one out. And yeah, it would be awesome to work with you. And until next time, Christina gets like, what, four days to recover now? <laughs> yeah, except, except that Lindsay gives me homework for the days when we don't work. So <laughs> mm -hmm. awesome. All right, bye. Bye.